Hello, this is Matt here from TracyandMatt.co.uk and from Unboxings.com and today we're looking at the Palm Pre 2. Now this is obviously the successor to the original Palm Pre, which um, had sort of mixed reviews. Uh, for us, we thought the operating system, the uh, Palm OS or Web OS rather, was uh, f fantastic, but uh, sadly let down by the hardware. And uh, the Palm Pre original, uh, the sales weren't phenomenal, so um, hopefully the Palm Pre 2 will be a little better. Uh, obviously the device here immediately on top and we're going to come back to that in just a moment. Also inside uh, we have this small sort of getting started section here along with uh, a gesture guide which is pretty useful. It will tell us, let's just take a quick look, um, how the WebOS gestures work on screen. And so if you're, if you're new to this then that's definitely worth reading because there are some gestures that you'll want to know how to use. And also in the box underneath, well packaged. Let's just tip all these out, make it easier. There we go. We have, well, first of all, we have UK and European plug sockets which work with this barrel shaped uh, USB style charger. So it has a full USB connector on one end. And then we just twist these like so to make your charger, pretty neat. So it means that they can make it available in different countries very easily. Then we have a micro USB to USB sync charge cable, which is uh, obviously pretty standard. And last of all, a set of headphones, or I should say it's a wired headset actually. Just pull this off. It's a wired headset, so four pole, three and a half mil jack on one end, and then there's an inline microphone that uh, has a push button, just a very simple push button, and then all tangled up now. We have the headphones on the other end. If I can just get to one, there we go. Headphones on the other end. It's kind of okay. They don't feel very weighty. Kind of, uh, well, I guess they're kind of good looking, but uh, um, I'm certainly going to prefer to use my own proper in ear. Headphones, I'm sure most people will. So back to the Palm Pre 2. Uh, physically, it's very similar to the Palm Pre. Um, you'd be very hard pushed to actually t tell the difference. There's not a great deal to pick between two. Sadly, I don't have another one to sort of show beside that, but uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, they are um, extremely similar. Uh, on the front end, we have a 3.1 inch touch screen, which is capacitive. It's half VGA, so 320 by 480 pixels. Um, not too many um, devices coming out with half VGA. Underneath there, so just at the bottom, we have a small hole, which is uh, the microphone. Obviously the loudspeaker right on top. Presumably ambient light and uh, other sensors around the outside. On the left hand side, we have just an up and down volume control buttons there. Nothing we see on the bottom, apart from a button that just lets us take the back cover off, which we'll look at in a second. And over on the right hand side we have a micro USB connector, obviously for sync and charge, connect up to your PC, all that kind of stuff. Uh, on the corner here, right on the corner, which uh, is a pretty good place to have it, just under your thumb, is the power button. And then there is this lock switch just next to that as well. And finally right on the top there is the 3.5mm headphone socket. So you can use the supplied um, headphones or wide headset or obviously your own. On the back, a uh, 5 megapixel camera with uh, LED flash. I'm not sure whether or not it's autofocus. Um, the spec sheet that I've been given um, doesn't actually say whether or not it's autofocus. Looks pretty small uh, in terms of the actual lens, uh, but say 5 megapixel with flash. Large loudspeaker going on the back, which uh, is uh, pretty much identical to the uh, original Palm Pre. Now, this has got a sort of a mattish finish, um, almost like a matte paint which uh, is kind of nice, it's a bit different but it's really showing up the marks and the fingerprints already you can see it's brand new out of the box um, and I may just handle it for a few minutes, it's kind of showing the marks underneath obviously we have the sliding screen which slides on a sort of a arc if you like to open up like so and the Qu QWERTY keyboard uh, three rows of keys for the actual uh, letters then underneath we have uh, shift and symbol and the space bar the keys aren't bad um, if you're used to, say, a BlackBerry, you'll find this fairly easy to type on. The keys are pretty small, but they are tactile and responsive. 
and uh, fairly forgiving when you're typing on them. Uh, again, almost identical to the Palm Pre, the first one. Um, so if you are used to that, you'll find that okay too. Looking over on the back, let's just remove that back cover. Which is easier said than done when you try and do it on video. There we go. So the back cover comes off like so. We have space in there for the SIM card battery here like so. And it's pretty straightforward. Pop the battery back in. And then the back cover. I think the outside here looks to be part of the antenna arrangement. And then the back cover is just going to should be just pop back on. It's uh, reasonably secure, a little bit plastic on the back. And it's wipe the front off and say that it's really showing fingerprints more so than um, one would expect. So before I go ahead and power this up, if memory serves, uh, WebOS complains a bit if you try and power up without a SIM card installed. So uh, let's just go and do that now. Which way around does this go? Go okay, that way. Let's pop that in and battery back in that way around. And another interesting thing here, yeah, part of the antenna inside the cover. Picks up on those. Is there? Let's pop that back on and see if we power up. There we go. Um, while we wait, if that's come on, let me quickly run down the spec. Uh, as I say, WebOS 2, um, which is obviously the latest version um, of uh, WebOS. 1 gigahertz processor, 512 meg of RAM. Uh, it has 16 gig of internal storage, which is pretty cool. Um, even better because so we don't have an uh, SD card socket on this, so uh, you are stuck with a 16. But 16 is pretty reasonable. Uh, say 3.1 inch touchscreen display, which is capacitive, all gesture based as well, which uh, really makes best use of that uh, touchscreen under WebOS. Uh, 320 by 480 pixels on that screen. Um, try uh, quad band for GSM, so voice calls will be fine um, pretty much worldwide, um, but only dual band for HSDPA and 3G. So you might find that's a little bit limited in certain uh, countries and areas of the world. Uh, Bluetooth 2 with A2DB support, uh, EDR and uh, Wi-Fi supporting 802.11b, G and N standards. 5, 5 megapixel camera on the back with uh, uh, LED flash. Uh, also supports, supports geotagging because we do have a built-in GPS antenna. Uh, finally, what's the dimensions? We've got 100 millimeters, uh, 100, well, 101 millimeters from top to bottom, um, just about 55, 56 millimeters wide, and uh, 17 millimeters thick at the widest point there. So let's have a quick look. Oh, it weighs 145 grams, by the way, uh, which feels quite heavy in your hand, but I think it's because it's quite a compact um, design. It's a little bit thicker, but it's sort of fairly compact, so it feels quite weighty. Anyway, let's set up in English. United Kingdom, confirm English. Touchscreen really sensitive, but then it is capacitive, so um, you know that it will be that, that way. Let's have a quick look around the uh, OS, and uh, let me activate the SIM. I don't really want to do that. Okay. So it's saying that my SIM card is inactive. Does that mean I can't use the... Yep, apparently I can't use without an active SIM card. Well, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Ah, oh, that's a really cool little thing at the bottom there. Uh, let's just go back through the setup. Oh, it's insisting that my SIM card must be active before I can actually look at the OS. We'll come back to that uh, well after I go and find a SIM card that will work in. But that's okay because uh, obviously we're shooting in quite bright conditions here at the moment anyway, so that you could see the hardware. So I'll come back and do a demo of the operating system in a bit more detail and look at some of the features, some of the applications, and uh, some of the bits and pieces that are installed, um, and have a little bit of a demo of how WebOS actually works. I'll come back and do that in a, in a future video. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash Tracy and Matt or on facebook.com slash Tracy and uh, I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews. The uh, full review of this will be up over the next uh, sort of week or so. But for now, thanks for watching. 
Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with Unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.